Welcome to Saleh Family Speaks. Hey, I'm Sana. And I'm Mohammed William. And we are the, the Saleh, Saleh Family. Family. We are social media influencers, content creators, and we own multiple online businesses. We seem to have a lot to say when it comes to just about anything. We are a mixed culture Muslim couple from Canada, and we're always asked about how our lives intertwine with the world around us. This podcast is all about learning to live, love, and laugh in a way that may have you rolling on the floor or throwing your phone at the wall. No topic is off the table, religion, culture, love life, and everything in between. So get ready and grab a big old cup of chai. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Welcome back. May the infinite peace and blessings of God be upon you, around you, and within you. So happy to be back, you guys. It's been a while, and we're sorry. <laughs> it's been a long time. We have um, disappeared again, and we're making an entrance back, but, you know, it's better late than never. We're working so. at becoming magicians, Yeah. and uh, so our disappearing act is complete. Here yes. we are. <laughs> yeah, we're back. We're back. So, yeah, get ready. Get, get excited, because we're going to be having a lot of fun episodes coming up. So in this episode today, we thought we would just kind of give you guys a breakdown of where we've been and what we've been through in the course of kind of like the last year yeah yeah literally i think it has been exactly a year since like our last episode perfect so. so let's track it back at this time last year we had just returned from our trip to turkey and syria mm-hmm. respectively mm-hmm. and we were doing our fundraiser for the winter relief uh, with human concern international yeah which was um, an incredible program you guys amazing. you helped us raise a lot of money. I think it was over $110,000. Yeah, incredible. So that was crazy. And the memories will last a lifetime and yeah, many more to come. So upon our return, um, Sana found out that she was pregnant, mm-hmm. which was a bit of a shocker because we realized that uh, baby had been with us the entire time through <laughs> Turkey and Syria and that whole experience. Um, but it wasn't too, too, too long where we had the most devastating news of our lives. And mm-hmm. that is that we lost our baby. Mm-hmm. So a couple months after, uh, we did lose our baby. Uh, we had a missed miscarriage. Uh, we went into a lot of detail on our YouTube channel. So if you don't follow us there, or you're not subscribed there and you want to hear the entire story, Uh, from the beginning to the end, then definitely go and check that out. But it was definitely a life-changing experience for us. And we did completely pull back from social media completely for a long time. Yeah. So it was obviously, as anyone who's experienced the loss of a child, um, whether that's on, you know, in utero, whether that's out utero, Mm -hmm. I don't know what the terminology is. Infant loss, pregnancy loss. Yeah. um, Anyone who knows, has experienced that, they can understand and it has been constantly on our minds every day up until this day, a year later. Um, so anybody, again, who's dealing with that knows and understands how sometimes you just need a break. And for social media content creators, that can be a difficult task. Yeah, and because we never announced our pregnancy on social media, it's it's just one of those things where we just wanted to keep it private anyway. And then when we disappeared and stopped creating content altogether, uh, people were questioning. They're like, what happened? Like, where did they go? So we discussed it amongst each other and decided to share our story and we're very actually blown away with how many of you can relate to it Mm -hmm. and from that we decided to um, do a water well project with human concern international to build water wells around the world in six different countries two different continents um, in memory of our baby Iman Mm -hmm. and And that turned out to be incredibly successful you guys incredibly successful and not only that not only did we build wells in memory of our baby literally with plaques on these water wells with our baby's name but also we um, opened up the opportunity with HCI to many of you to build water wells in you know memory of your loved ones Mm -hmm. and there was a lot of people that stepped forward and did that and that was a very magical experience yeah, so. it was absolutely incredible so the fact that through um you know this is where allah says in the quran verily with hardship comes ease and we might not understand it but most definitely you know through doing acts like this and servitude to humanity um you know there's there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people that are drinking clean drink that have clean drinking water mm-hmm. uh, because of this this tragedy and because of this this initiative and because of the community that we have surrounding us, it's it's unbelievable mm-hmm. and an incredible 
uh, thing to see come to fruition. Yeah, and and what's mind blowing is is you take a tragedy tragedy and you turn it into something so beautiful. You never really think about the um, like the outcome of it and mm. how many people right now, literally as we're speaking and, and recording this podcast, how many people are drinking from those clean water wells mm -hmm. and how many of them are grateful that, you know, they don't have to walk five miles down the street to, to, to get water. And yeah. it's just like, wow, like yeah, we had a part in that. Yeah, especially in Africa, you see that because of these water wells, kids are able to go to school where mm -hmm. they normally wouldn't be there. Normally they're, they're spending the whole day, day just trekking to go and get water to bring back to their their houses mm -hmm. um you know and the fact that with this initiative we raised enough um money to facilitate clean drinking water for around a hundred thousand people That's which crazy. is just mind-boggling um, to think it's like about. the entire population of like the city that we live in like mm -hmm. that's crazy yeah, it's wow. unbelievable so of wow. course with your guys's help um, we can achieve amazing things. We will touch a little bit later on about another initiative that we have taking place right mm -hmm. now. But for now, let's kind of skip forward. Um, during that fundraiser, the beginning of Ramadan, we got COVID. Yeah. All that of was, us. We, Finally. We, we went two years without COVID, you guys. And um, the first place we ever went to after after we lost Iman was surprisingly a concert. <laughs> Justin Bieber, to be specific. <laughs> we went to a Justin Bieber concert, and it was actually the first time that we had been in like a large crowd, I would mm -hmm. say, right? Um, we wore masks, like we, we distanced from people. Yeah. Um, but again, like there's only so much distancing you can do when there's like thousands of people in the same arena yeah so. it's, it's no different than anywhere you would go at any particular time it's the qadr of allah mm -hmm. which means it like it's, it it's your destiny you're going to get it you're going to get it you're not going to get it you're not going to get it obviously you do mm -hmm. things to facilitate you know proper you know distancing and health precautions and all mm -hmm. that sort of stuff but at the end of the day um what's written is written so people may say, oh, but music, blah, blah, blah. Okay, <laughs> let's just take a note Go here. back to season one. <laughs> yeah, well, so the, the opinion of Imam al-Ghazali, whose nickname is the proof of Islam, uh, and not by himself or his own uh, admission, but the scholars around him and, and since give him this nickname. So that's his legendary, legendary status in Islam. You know, and his opinion was that music is no different than taking a walk uh, in the forest right mm -hmm. that it'll help listening to the birds it, exactly it, it's something that can help calm your soul and for us it was definitely a healing process yeah, it was 100 um, percent. especially when he sang the song ghost yeah both of us were like so emotional because yeah. it's a song about loss and yeah that was amazing sorry just kind of <laughs> sorry i had to take a, a sip of my tea there for a second but and i've got tears in my eyes so Aww. um it's emotional. Like, Absolutely. And that's the thing is a lot of people don't realize that like when people like, I'm going to say, throw this out there, but Muslims, when they say, oh, music is haram, they completely disregard the fact that it can be healing. Mm -hmm. Like for us, I know that I listened to the song Ghost a million times over after yeah. we had our loss because I just felt validated. I felt like I could relate to it. You know, like yeah. music can be therapeutic. For sure. And that's the, that's the side that, again dogmatic individuals who are hard-headed and don't realize that this is a difference of opinion and it isn't from the clear proofs of the quran or the sunnah to say that music is haram it is based upon the opinions of scholars and many of them are very dogmatic or archaic views that are misunderstood or misinterpreted um, not to say that it doesn't exist but again you choose to follow one versus the other alhamdulillah bismillah do your thing mm -hmm. don't criticize other people um but highly recommend you guys go back to season one where yep. we have a sit down and it's like an hour long discussion with a scholar that is very, very, very well versed mm -hmm. uh, in the topic about music where we learned a lot ourselves. And um, it's not obviously we're not scholars, hence why we brought a scholar on <laughs> um, to discuss it because we needed to be educated ourselves and we feel like we're we're at that place now where we understand both sides of it mm -hmm. so yeah. so again not to spend too much time on that moving forward um we shortly after that uh, it was my birthday and we mm -hmm. decided to go to a cottage, cottage. with mm -hmm. a group of friends um all i think it was a four 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 families yeah not four 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 yeah. four families um, and, like and a whole shwack of kids <laughs> and it was a really cool experience it was yeah. uh, um, close to very close like a walking distance from lake huron yeah um, too cold to swim because it was in the beginning of may 
but it was still a beautiful experience. Um, and then we got sick again. Yeah, and then we got sick again. Not Literally, COVID. the day the day that we were leaving, we got the stomach flu. Oh, it was and so bad. It was horrific. Thank God the children didn't get it, but mm. me and Will were train wrecked. It was the wrecked. worst drive home, it I'm was telling you. terrible. It was a 24-hour thing, but it was like horrific and i remember watching the kids like a hawk yeah because i was worried that they were going to get it but i mean i feel like i feel like last year was the year of sickness yeah. like <laughs> we got sick a lot last but year but the silver lining in that is that we have the most incredible group of friends who literally took yes. the best care of us they yeah. literally packed our entire car all of our stuff and yeah. while we were like curled up in bed yeah and then so when it was time to go i just literally got up i walked to the car buckled the kids and yeah. drove it was so amazing it was amazing they're they're literally the best and that's when you know you have good friends yeah. because they treat you like family they mm. they checked it checked up on us they they took our garbage away from us they, they were upset that that <laughs> they weren't able to drive the car they offered to drive yeah. us home like they're so so amazing sweet. so shout out to all you amazing people that yeah. are close to us in our lives we love all of you yeah may Allah bless you always uh, moving forward a little bit more because we want to keep this podcast relatively short. Yeah. Um, we actually were blessed to host our two-year anniversary of our beautiful business, Lala Hijabs, in Holt Renfrew once again, again yeah. for the second consecutive year. Yeah, that was really cool. That was a that was a nice experience again seeing all of you guys because COVID happened. Mm-hmm. Um, and we actually didn't have to wear masks this time. We didn't have to we wear masks. To see people's faces. Yeah, that was the first time, and that was actually I think the first event we've ever done where we didn't have to wear masks mm-hmm. and we could see people's faces and take selfies with you guys and yeah it was cool yeah really absolutely cool. um another thing that we were blessed to be able to do is for the first time we went home yes in four, well in three and a half years since we moved out to ontario from british columbia yeah we went home so we got mm-hmm. to see uh we stayed with son's dad i uh, got to see my mom mm-hmm. yeah it was awesome and and for us it felt like a vacation yeah <laughs> it felt like we were going to even though we're all we were born in bc mm-hmm. born and raised for like almost 30 years um it felt weird like we felt like tourists mm-hmm. going back home we're like oh let's do all the touristy things let's go yeah. here let's go there it's pretty like, cool pretty yeah. cool experience yeah it was nice. and then from there we actually uh, so we're from the interior um it's about a five hour drive from vancouver we went to vancouver for the night and a group of uh, another family joined us from here family friends mm-hmm. and uh, then we went to vancouver island we went to victoria yep, to we did all the cool stuff we went whale watching for the oh, first time which is a pretty amazing that experience. was magical you guys if you've never done whale watching and you live on the coast i i can't believe i lived there my entire life and i never did whale watching mm-hmm. it was the coolest experience ever i highly recommend it um it was eagle wing tours and i honestly I think every single person needs to put that on their bucket list. Yeah. Even though we weren't like super close to them, I, I was so emotional. It's one thing to see whales on like the Discovery Channel yeah. or, you know, the a- Animal Planet. But like seeing them in real life, they're the most beautiful, majestic, majestic creatures yeah, dinosaurs ever. Dinosaurs of the water. Yeah, yeah. And so... Uh, uh... A slight caveat to that is that in British Columbia, uh, the laws are very strict mm-hmm. about coming close to whales. Uh, you cannot go. I think I forget I think the it exact was fifty meters. Or no, something. it was like two hundred. Like it's really, it's, it's, yeah. It's a, it's a big distance. So yeah. and that's to protect Just not the to whales, to protect them. the babies, to to not exactly not disturb them. Mm-hmm. Still a magically incredible experience when you see a whale breach and that big oh, fin comes up and goes so, down. So and they're so. It's so quiet out there. Mm-hmm. Like we had to drive, not drive, drive. sorry. <laughs> we had to <laughs> we had to go in the boat for like an hour and a half yeah. before we even got to see them. So we're literally in the middle of nowhere. I remember we even crossed through US waters. Called the ocean. Yeah, and it was it was so cool just being in the middle of the ocean and the only thing you hear is just like shh. It's dead silence. You just hear mm-hmm. the just the water and you ah oh, it's just it's it was really cool experience. yeah so highly recommend that side note i spent two years on the sailboat when i was little so that maybe was we should fun. maybe we should do a podcast just about your experience living on a boat Ooh, sometime maybe that would do be we get to cool. play the song i'm on a boat <laughs> no <laughs> no it's not not g ready uh, so um, yeah after we came back from bc we hosted several pop-up shops mm-hmm. and it was go 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 literally all summer we yeah. did the Halal Rib Fest. We did Muslim Fest. We did uh, the Mac Convention. Yeah. We did the Tawheed Center. Yeah. We did the the uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, what is the one? Muslim the entrepreneurs, womenpreneurs, or something. I can't remember their name. What's the one we do in the mall? 
Uh, oh, we square did square one. one. Yeah. yeah, run the world summit. Run the world summit. Yeah. So we were super busy. We saw a lot of you. And uh, we just finished the wrapped up the RIS convention to throw that in there. Yeah. Uh, although we weren't there, but um, our booth was there, and you guys made it super amazing, super successful. Yeah. Um, so where are we at now? We, we for Sunna's birthday decided that we were going to go glamping for the first time. Oh yeah. We tried. You guys, we might have talked about it before. Our, our horrific camping experience. <laughs> from the previous uh, year yeah but um we we redeemed ourselves yeah we we just we've decided we're rv campers so that's just where we're at especially when you have kids it's nice to have a stove it's nice to have a microwave and a bed and a washroom right in there like it, it was a great experience and yep. it, we actually vlogged that too so we did you can go that and check on that out channel yeah and i uh sunk my drone to davy jones's locker if yeah. such a place exists in lake huron yeah i got a little bit too close to the water and i had a big wave come over and pull it under um yeah shout that... out to dji because their customer service is great and i had a warranty so it didn't cost me too much to get it replaced thank god um but yeah it was overall the weather was incredible the whole time oh, we were yeah. there we got so lucky considering it was actually september when we went mm -hmm. and normally in september it starts to chill a yeah. little bit here in ontario mm -hmm. um, but the weather we got so lucky it was beautiful the entire time mm -hmm. the kids had a blast amina our eldest learned how to ride a bike yeah uh, without her um strider wheels yep. so that was really cool so speaking of beautiful weather we had the incredible opportunity to have our first real kind of almost vacation as a family. Yes. Uh, and we went to... Mexico! Mexico. In Not November. just Mexico. We went to Riviera Maya. Yeah. Uh, to Casa del Agua. Yeah. With Husna Vacations. Husna Vacations. Shout out to Husna. The yeah. The amazing company that they are. Um, we actually partnered with them to promote their brand, to promote the, promote the experience. So it was a bit of a work trip, bit of a relaxation, but we did four nights in this incredible private villa, this mm. Mayan style villa with the whole wall opens up and when you're it eating so outside, inside, it's, yeah. it was absolutely incredible. It was the coolest experience. For those of you that haven't heard of Husna before, it is a Muslim owned company and they are completely different than any other vacation company because when you travel with them you get to eat a hundred percent halal food mm -hmm. that was huge for us it, anytime we've ever traveled anywhere we're always on a vegetarian diet and it's not very fun yeah, so being able to go on go, vacation sure. and like eat meat was so cool yeah so they actually this particular uh, particular villa um, they actually include all of the halal meat within you know the ticket price basically and that's beef chicken and lamb so whatever you want from that it's it's all taken care of um, and that's pretty cool to think that in cancun mexico yeah. on a beach resort private villa you have all of your food yeah. all of the food is halal for you to eat that's so cool um, yeah they specialize in and basically like muslim friendly um right now family friendly yeah, vacations. family friendly vacations right now as we speak they're in the bahamas so they basically booked out the entire hotel beachfront hotel and um it's literally the entire place yeah. is full of muslims like 800 plus muslims mm -hmm. it is the coolest and they thing have ever. all kinds of games and programs and prayers, uh, you know, prayers all, prayer everything yeah. you name it it's taking place so do check them out to show them some love look into their vacation packages very reasonably placed priced placed yeah. <laughs> um and, and incredible people that genuinely like the owners of the company are there yeah um and they take so much pride in taking care of their guests it's yeah. unbelievable and they do a lot of charity work They're, they actually donate a portion of like every ticket to hci and to different charities and and like campaigns and things like that and by the way you guys this is not sponsored we're just like super amazing. they're friends of ours yeah they they're friends like of ours such good and we friends. just had such a great experience and it was such a great way to like wrap up the, the year for yeah. us um considering uh we haven't taken a family vacation like ever <laughs> yeah so. the, la the last one we took was Disney. Yeah, Disney. In yeah, and that was years ago. 18? Yeah. Might not seem like that long ago, guys, but for us, for us we, it's we, a long we time. love to travel and, and that sort of stuff, but to go on a nice family vacation is something that's incredible. Yeah, so um, we had a blast. Yeah, and then we came back and it was cold and miserable. Oh, it was, the weather we was came back terrible. to rain. We came back to rain and it was like four o'clock when our plane landed and I remember looking out and I was like, oh my God, it's, it's like pitch dark. black. It was yeah. pitch black. And then we had to go and get the car and we had to drive home from the airport and yeah. it was just miserable. And both of us are just looking at each other like, why do we live here again? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're not rain snow people for no. sure. So, so yeah. yeah, we came back and then we got, again, we got right back to business with a lot of hijabs, with uh, 
to doing everything we had to do to prepare for RIS convention. Yeah. Um, and that leads us, I think, because that covers most of the year, I think, yeah. of where we've been and what we've been doing. Yeah, but, so super busy. Exactly. So we are right now, as I mentioned in the beginning, we are again working with um, Human Concern International to build an entire village in Syria called the Village of Hope. Yeah. Now, this is a village that will move 500 families out of the tent camps, of, of which I've been there personally last year and seen the condition that these people live in. It is absolutely horrific. Um, so the whole idea is to take 500 of those families and build a village for them, a village that will include a mosque, school uh, with free education, you know, a clinic with free health care, playgrounds, soccer fields, you name it, uh, that this village will have it. Um, we have already raised, alhamdulillah, uh, $200,000. Which is crazy. Which is this campaign, insane. This campaign is the biggest fundraiser we have ever done. Mm -hmm. And we started it, I don't know, when did we start it? I feel like it was like Not early November sure. maybe. I think it's been like two months. And there have been people that have donated full-on houses, yeah. like full-on houses. But just note that... It doesn't matter what amount people are donating. Every single dollar is going to go towards this village. And the building of this project is massive. Like it's mm -hmm. a $2.5 million project. It's not small, um, but it is going to change lives. There are so many families with so many young kids that are living in these tent cities, I guess you could call them mm -hmm. right now, in Syria. And they don't have heating um, you can imagine how cold the weather is in Syria and people are having to, you know, start fires in their tents and then the tents, you know, light on fire and there's injuries and deaths and it's just horrible. It's really, really sad. And taking them from that into a home, it's going to be a two bedroom home with a kitchen, a living room, a washroom, like it is a full on home with heating. Um, it's going to change their life and mm -hmm. they're never going to forget that there are people out there like you and me. And anyone that has contributed to this project that, you know, gave with their their hearts and yeah. gave with, you know, just humility and and that that means something to them. So yeah. so never forget that they're they're gonna be praying for you. That's Absolutely. for sure. So as we are still in the midst of this, I would highly recommend and encourage everyone. Um, you know, not not a penny spent is a penny wasted when it comes to charity. And it comes when it comes to, you know, helping people out of such dire situations. So you, it's not too late. You still have the ability to mm -hmm. donate. Mm -hmm. And how would they go about that, Sana? So they're going to go to launchgood.com. So L-A-U-N-C-H, launch. And then good, G-O-O-D.com slash village with Saleh family. Super simple. Village yeah. with Saleh family. That is launch good, not lunch good, depending on what time you're listening to <laughs> Launch, us. like you're going to launch a rocket. Exactly. Okay, launchgood.com slash village with Saleh family. And trust us, like any 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 amount counts, whether you're going to donate a dollar or you're going to donate a thousand dollars. It does not matter. Every single donation is going to go towards this campaign and it's going to be changing a lot of lives. Absolutely. So, so inshallah, um, you know, we've had our team that have been there breaking ground on the village mm -hmm. itself uh, just with two, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we're, 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 the plan is that one day, inshallah, when it's completed, that we'll actually get to go there and, and, uh, and see it and see it and, and show you guys as well. Yeah. So again, thank you guys so much for being here. We will wrap this podcast episode up at that. And we will definitely... We're going to sit here and record a few more episodes just so <laughs> that we can, you know, fulfill that promise that we are back and we will be putting Absolutely. out more content. And make sure you guys, if you do enjoy listening to this podcast, take a screenshot of wherever you're listening to it, whether it's on your phone, in your car, wherever, and post it in your Instagram stories and tag us. And we would just love to see where you guys are listening from um, and let us know what episodes that you guys want to see from us in the future as well. Mm -hmm. So again, guys, thank you so much for being along with us on this crazy journey of life. We love and appreciate every single one of you. And here is to next time. Bye for now. Bye, guys.